Welcome to another episode of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and we are here today with one of five world premieres of General Kenobi. Just moments ago, the developers announced General Kenobi's appearance in the game, and he will be your reward character for the new tank takedown raid. So what we are going to do today with my fellow friends and YouTubers, we have Miss Passiert, we have Mobile Gamer, we have Rivan, oh, Rivan from... Riman from Team Skunk, Lord Skunk, and we have Warrior from Team Instinct here, and we are going to go ahead and give you our initial impressions. Each of them will have their own impressions on their video, so please do check them out. So let's get right into it and see what General Kenobi will offer you after all the hard work you've done against General Grievous. So his first ability, known as Intuitive Strike, it is quite amazing. So besides dealing physical damage to a target enemy with a 75% chance to grant foresight, which is absolutely crazy. He also gives it to them for two turns, and if all of them have buffs, then they he can do double damage here, which is great. If, you'll see soon that Obi-Wan Kenobi here, he specializes in granting people buffs and then rewarding them for being buffed up. Moving on here, let's go ahead and look at the Negotiator, and also, these are all maxed out abilities right now. We went ahead and took him to the max so we can show you what he looks like. This is going to make him an amazing Dispeller. So far, we only have so few of them, and really one of them or two of them are super accessible to the community as a whole, so this is great to see that we have another Dispeller. But let's go ahead and look at this. He is going to dispel all buffs from allies, but... He also grants the opposite buff for two turns, if there are any. And then all allies that were not debuffed, they gain retribution for two turns. And then General Kenobi, you know, he's going ahead and he gets 50% turn meter, which is great. So what happens here? Let's say you have speed down. You can go ahead, cleanse that, and then guess what? You got speed up. This is one of a, uh, one of a kind ability. We do not see that in this game so far. So this is going to be such a treat. So everyone's going to get some sort of buff, whether it's retribution or they're going to get cleansed and get a buff in return. So in a way, being debuffed could be a good thing in certain circumstances, assuming you're not ability block. Moving on here, let's go ahead and look at lead the charge. And this is just, I, I hope we can get some good gameplay on this. This is a great ability. Essentially what this does is it deals target damage or deals physical damage to a target enemy. Then he can grant a random ally offense up for two turns. Then he calls all buffed allies to assist. And of course they will do 30% less damage. But when you have five people attacking in total, that is no joke. So this is going to be absolutely great. It kind of reminds me of uh, Chief Nebit where he goes ahead and grants protection up to a random ally during an attack. So he... Kenobi here, his main goal is to make sure your allies, they're performing at their very best and having a variety of buffs. But guess what? We aren't done yet. We still have more to cover here. Two more to be specific. Now the leader ability. Just like Palpatine, we have a nice little paragraph of what's going on here. And you know there's going to be some good stuff here. Let's go ahead and look at it. And he is going to give benefits to both Jedis and clones. They're going to gain 30% max health and a 70% defensive bonus. And then after a Jedi ally uses a team healing special, then all other allies that are full health, they are called to assist, dealing 50% less damage. So for a, a long time, we've had that hashtag, make healers great again, make Jedis great again. And here we see a healer, a potential healer combat, uh, combat here. We see that Luminara, Jedi Counselor, they may actually be important in this game as we'll see in some gameplay soon. And when someone heals and all your characters or a couple characters are already at max health, they're going to go ahead and do damage. So, you know, just top it off. Top off your health a little bit. Actually might be a great thing. But you know what? Look, we, have a, we have a little bit more to talk about. Clones also get some loving here. What happens is that when a clone ally uses a special ability, they gain a buff. And here we go. We have an attacker. If they are an attacker, they gain advantage. If you're a support character, you're gaining stealth. And this one, I just love it. If you're a clone tank... And we know, we all know of one clone tank out there. He is going to be able to taunt for one turn. So we always talked about what if fives could taunt? Well, here it is. This is going to be your, your bread and butter, your glory you've been waiting for. And I'm going to try to get some fives gameplay if possible in this video. So lastly, let's go ahead and try to wrap this up real quick. At the end of each of his turns, General Kenobi has a 65% chance to gain foresight for two turns. And then whenever another ally is critically hit, 
If General Kenobi is alive, they gain critical hit immunity for one turn, and General Kenobi gains a taunt for one turn. So it's very interesting. It has a lot of shore trooper elements here in regards to an instant taunt uh, right when critical damage comes, and he also has critical immunity that he can grant. So this might be your counter to your Lando Wedge Biggs leads that we have right now. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out, but it will be a while before we can see Kenobi in his full glory. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the stats. Right now, if you notice to the right, we have a bunch of random mods. We mainly try to get plenty of speed on him. So let's go ahead and look at what we have so far. All of this is subject to change, but we, we don't suspect there will be huge changes. But, you know, everything uh, can change depending on what happens in the near future. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the good stuff. The health. So I may have not mentioned this, but Kenobi is going to be a Jedi tank. And not like Mace Windu here. This is actually true tank statistics right here. So we see the health. With mods, he's at 27,000. With protection with mods, he has 38,000 protection, which is crazy. I will be doing an in-depth where we add him to our little stat sheet eventually and compare him to the other characters. But this is great. these are great numbers so far. Next, for the speed, with mods, he's at 208. Before mods, I believe he was one, uh, 121, so very Palpatine-like in terms of his speed. But with mods, you can definitely get that speed up there. Critical damage, uh, he's not really meant to be your critical damage dealer like Lando or whatnot, so let's go ahead and move on. Tenacity, he has some decent tenacity, so he's going to try to wave off possible stunts so he can taunt, cleanse, all that great stuff. And he also has a decent amount of health seal, which is always great because you want him to live as much as possible to constantly grant those extra bonuses. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit, see if there's anything else of super importance before we get to the, the good stuff here. And, you know, that's pretty much it. I will be going more in depth on this, as will the other couple YouTubers that are here. So please check out their channel so you can get their initial reactions and what they think of him. And yes, he will be added to my Hall of Fame table. Uh, we can see where he is before he's even released to the hands of the public. And let's go ahead and I think that's pretty much it here. Uh, let's go ahead and back out. And what we're also going to do, this is just one little fun thing we're doing. We're going to also go ahead and toss him in the tank takedown raid, which is going to be so much fun. Things are a little bit different in this build and the, the, the public one. They are planning on making the first phase a tad bit easier. Uh, so that's hopefully going to come soon because it's a very tough raid. Uh, not going to be your typical Rancor raid. We have a lot to learn about, but we're going to go ahead and just have a little bit of fun. So let's go ahead. We're going to put Kenobi as our lead because he's the he's the centerpiece right now. And I really want to get fives in here. And right now, this is Ramon's account. And we are going to, well, not 100% Ramon's account. We had to make a little changes. But I want to go ahead and add some clones and a couple. And Jedi Counselor. Oh, two heels. All right, Mobile Gamer is requesting we get the Jedi Counselor in here. And Ramon, where is your fives? Beautiful. There it is. Should we add Rex? I think Rex would be a great addition to this, don't you think? Um, another Another cleanser. Yeah, let's go ahead and add Rex. We're gonna we're gonna make it a little bit different. I'm gonna uh, everyone's gonna try to make a different setup here, so I'm gonna go with Rex. Uh, we're also gonna go with Jedi Counselor. That's gonna be I haven't seen that guy in forever. Two heals. Two heals. I believe when you use the Force Push or whatever it's called, he attacks. Yeah, he's low on the list. Uh, you, you don't give him enough loving. <laughs> Where are you? Where'd you go? I miss you so. Oh my gosh, how I passed him. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, he, he used, used to be one of your best like starting characters, but now he kind of fell behind, uh, but he's still amazing. And I, you know what? I, why did I take off Yoda? I think we should add Yoda in there. Any other character you guys want to see? Maybe Aayla Sakura? Um, Aayla? I think I'm going to go with Aayla Sakura. If you guys want, you guys can do a... Um, what's up? Lumen. Oh, you know what? Yes. I, the last video of Mobile Gaming, we didn't have that many healers. So I'll go ahead and put a, a balance of healers in here as well. Um, let's see. Where are you, my friend? Up, da, da, da. Luminar, where'd you go? There we go. All right. So there we go. We're going to get uh, a decent Clone Wars setup. Obviously, the Jedi Counselor is a no-name person, but we're going to pretend he was into Clone Wars. He probably grew up in the slums of the of the Coruscant underworld, so he made a comeback, and here we go. And I got to say, the graphics and animations are just superb. I know that the raid was delayed quite a few months, but it's, it's all going to be worth it. We don't want to put something out there that might be of poor quality, has a lot of bugs. So they took their time to greatly develop this. And this is a very tough raid. Some of our tries that we've done, we've barely gotten 2% damage. And you really have to keep in mind of all the droids. So we're just going to play. I don't want to go too much into the details. That can come later. I know plenty of other YouTubers have covered this. But let's go ahead and see how we're going to start this party. So, all right, let's see. Um, 
we might be doing that first attack. We don't want to use the negotiator yet. You want to save that for when there's tons of debuffs. As you'll see, there's going to be debuffs left and right here. And you know what? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and just start using the basic. I really suggest we just get B2 Super Battle Droid out because he can just ruin the party. And uh, let's go ahead. Where's, which, I think that's this one that's got the crazy cool animation. Yeah, I don't have Rex. I really wish I did. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. All right. And here we go. So Grievous is going to go to town now. And if you notice, Kenobi just taunted. It's so great. It's like Royal Guard and Shore Trooper put together. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Hopefully, we can ability block. Um, I don't even know. If, can we ability block the Battle Droid? Do you know? Uh, but we did not get the ability block. And unfortunately, oh, man. Luminara is just, they're done for. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and have Fives taunt. Fives is going to finally taunt for us. This is really awesome. And look at that. Kenobi gets an assist in here. And there you go, buddy. And, yeah, we definitely need some heals in there. I did not realize your Luminara and your Jedi Counselor were uh, in bad shape here. Um, let's go ahead and do the Negotiator. We have a... Yeah, yeah let's go ahead and... Whoa -whoa! There we go. That... Ah, oh, the animations just are just so much fun. And look at that. Rex has his cleansing ability, but we do not need that yet. And uh, everyone's... Well, mostly everyone's buff. Luminara, for some reason, slacking off. So we're going to... She's not going to be a part of this party, but... Whoa! There we go. And he's out of the battle. Now, General Grievous does revive his droids eventually, and he gets actually stronger, and uh, or he gets dif more difficult the more droids that are destroyed because he's standing on his own, and um, he's got to make up for the fact that his droids aren't helping him out. So it is very difficult. We haven't put, yeah, I don't, I think honestly, uh, I should have done the cleanse. Uh, was anyone debuffed? I, I can't even tell. Um, I don't know. Should I just go for Grievous or the droids? That's that's the, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, I'm gonna ignore the Magna Guards for right now. Here we go. Let's go. Like, get a heal and we got a couple of assists there see you're gonna get lots of assists here and i want to show how jedi counselor can be a good character again in this raid right i'm guessing he's not over geared at all but let's go ahead and watch this oh he didn't get the second attack in yeah usually i think maybe he wasn't at full health if he's at full health i do believe he actually goes ahead and gets a second attack that we did see gameplay of that but we did not get that here unfortunately and if you notice, um, Obi uh, Kenobi just granted Foresight to Fives not too long ago. And uh, now it's gone because General Grievous got a hit on him. But that is perfectly fine. And Kenobi's doing all right so far. All right, we might, we're going to need a cleanser soon. I know. I was expecting, yeah. I was. Yeah, I guess he's still terrible. All right, well, let's get... You know what? He's going <laughs> to... Sorry about that. Uh, hey, he, 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 grew up, he grew up in the slums, all right? You know, give him a break. Here we go. We got the heal, and look at that. Everyone's, oh, see, there, there we go. I think that's what I was talking about. He healed himself, and he got an attack off. So that was really good. Yeah, maybe maybe we were uh, misunderstanding that a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead. Come on. I wish, uh, I don't think I have any AOE characters here, unfortunately. All right, let's go ahead, do the, there we go. Awesome. I really wish I had Rex. He's just absolutely so much fun to use. And, all right, Grievous is going to get his 20 attacks in a row. And come on, one more. Come on, there we go. Yeah, one more. There we go. One more. One more. No, okay, no. All right, let's see. Is he gonna? Who's gonna get foresight? Five's got foresight again. I actually wish he would not get foresight. Uh, he, I want him to get hit so he can counterattack. And we're not gonna use the special on um just yet. There we go. Now, oh crap. Um, the B2 Super Battle Droid came up. All right. All right. Here we go. He's gonna get. Yeah, Grievous, he constantly attacks. Luckily or unluckily, I'm not sure how you want to look at this, but he is... Oh, cool, we kept the taunt. He's not like the Rancor where he can hit like 5,000 each and every time. Or not 5,000, 15,000 each and every time. So it's... Uh, but he's, he gets three attacks in a row, so essentially could add up to what Rancor, uh, Rancor's damage was. And uh, look at that. We have relent, uh, Relentless uh, yeah, relentless Barrage or whatever his special is. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, I'm just going to keep attacking Grievous because... Um, Oh, uh, yeah. And you know what? Yeah, you got to get rid of the Super Battle Droid. He's really messing things up here. Um, all right. Is, we don't have any... We don't have that many buffs here. So let's go ahead. Is that for... Which one is that? The, the Negotiator? Yes, the Negotiator. There we go. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get it. Oh, haha. <laughs> yes, there we go. So, yeah, since no one had a debuff, um, he gained... Everyone got Retribution. I mean, Fives doesn't need it. Uh, oh, I wonder if we're going to get a couple of uh, counterattacks here. Let's see. Look at that. That taunt... Oh, you know what? No counter. Oh, because his basic attack. You, no one can counter Grievous's basic attack here. Uh, all right, so uh, let's go ahead and try to get. Yeah, we're gonna try to go ahead. Boom. There we go. Yeah, a lot of. Okay, we're gonna cleanse real quick. And and uh, Rex stealth himself for like two seconds. That wasn't really a long stealth. Um, <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's try to let's try this again. Force push. 
Okay, well, he died. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and get some more damage on Grievous. I feel like this is one of our more better rounds so far. I think that the healers are really helping. You want, I feel like so far, a healer is definitely going to keep you want, I mean, with Obi-Wan, of course, uh, he's going to keep you topped off here. So let's, we're going to get a couple counterattacks. There we go. There we go. All right. And, oh, cool. We resisted. Nice. See, we don't, who needs Yoda when you have Rex, you know? All right. There we go. Nice. So yeah, now I'm I'm feeling more impressed. Our previous our previous battles, uh, we weren't really doing things the right way it seems like, and uh, this is turning out to be a lot better so far at least. Um, all right, someone needs a heal. I think Luminari has a heal waiting for us. We're gonna go ahead and try to do that. This is yeah going a lot longer. This is going way better. I'm actually very impressed. Yeah, Kenobi, he's initial reactions. I wish uh, we had like a live uh, recording when we were when we first saw him. We were all we were all like yelling our heads off. I almost flipped the table. Uh, it was crazy. Um, he, the animations are just, are just spot on. They spent a lot of time working on him, on him making him. Oh hey, yeah, we got a heal. Let's go ahead and spam that. And oh, there we go. No, no, no uh, bonus attacks there. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, fives. I feel like this might. I mean, he was great in the rank core. This looks like this might be a raid where he can uh, do well uh, at the same time. All right. So now we're starting to have some trouble. The negotiator. There we go. Dodge. Yeah, I really, I'm really happy that Kenobi had a taunt. I, I never imagined him being a tank, but I can definitely see how that's, uh, how that's important. And in the Clone Wars, he really put himself before his allies, making sure, or making sure his allies um, are the ones that are being protected. Uh, so he really kind of follows that, that whole story. There we go. That, that it's just so much fun. I, I, I can only imagine what this is going to be like in arena. Here we go. We got a heal. Yeah, fives need some help here. So many, but I thought Yoda had a lot of uh, buffs. This is just, this is just awesome. Come on, let's get the B2 out of here. There. Oh, nice. All right. Let's go ahead and work on Grievous. All right. Yeah. So as you guys can tell, we've been, this is going on probably for like five, 10 minutes right now. We are, we've only done about 2% damage. Oh, we're starting to, yeah. <laughs> so it's not like the Rancor where in, in about three minutes, you can probably have them halfway done. Completely different in this uh, scenario. Uh, but yeah, so far we're good. I, I, when does he revive his characters? Uh, that's not it. Which one is it? Is it that one? Uh, da, 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 and flick speed down. This is, I don't see it. Let's see. What about this one? I don't see it. I don't know how they... Oh, it's probably this up here. Hold on. Yeah. I think that might be it. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I think it's some, one of these abilities. I don't think it's his kit. It might just be the, the actual nature of the raid where after so many turns, kind of like in the... I think it might be that little counter in the top left. Uh, but yeah, we're going to learn more about this. This is just initial reactions, essentially. And we will be giving you more in-depth reviews on Kenobi, the raid, so many other aspects in this game that we are still learning. But we want to make sure you guys can see what you're in store for. Right now, they worked really hard on this event. The, the character is of top-notch quality, and um, we're having a lot of fun. I'm going to... Yeah, come on. Yeah, we just lost fives. I noticed that. He was kind of an important character. And Kenobi... Ah! Uh... And he's down. Ooh, minus. Oh, I think um he's got that. Oh man, he's going to town. He's enraged. He is. He's enraged. He's not. He's not. He. Oh man. He. Everyone's enraged. Oh man. Oh, we dodged. Oh, 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 and oh. So that was actually perfect timing. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are gonna have more videos. Please, please, please check out the other YouTubers. We've had an awesome time at this EA event. So much more to come. And yeah, again, 60, we only did 63,000 uh, damage. So be prepared for a challenge. Things might get reworked. The character's amazing. Stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe to all of our channels. And peace out.